morning traders it's monday 9th of august 2021 hope you've had a great weekend so we had non-farm payroll on uh last friday there's some good numbers out from the us as we can see we have the average hourly earnings were up um above forecast so forecast was 0.3 percent and the value that came in was 0.4 so that was up the uh employment change 943,000 uh up compared to 870k so that was good and of course unemployment rate was down as well as you can see 5.4 and we or the market expected 5.7 so that actually was good for the dollar we saw a very bullish day on friday after that news as you can see and the week closed quite bullish as well so um you know we'll have to see if that continues now you can see some cycles starting to happen there um, but after a big move like that if we were going to see some more upside it would be nice to see a, um, a correction <clears throat> before we do so we'll be looking out for that but um the dollar index is actually made up of a what's called a basket of currencies and one of those uh, and the majority of which is euro usd now euro usd is actually at support at the moment as you can see if i put this on the weekly you can see this is a weekly support level so what is going to happen here very very interesting level of that strength in the dollar brought uh, um <clears throat> euro all the way down to this support zone here and we've come to a, a halt so it'll be interesting to see what happens so we'll be following that are we going to see continued dollar strength or was it just a flash in the pan we'll have to wait and see um kiwi dollar i just want to show you something on kiwi because kiwi if you look at the daily chart it looks a bit of a mess actually but when you look at the four hour you can actually start seeing some cycles in the market some four hour cycles you can see this impulse correction impulse correction impulse and potentially this is a correction so we might be seeing another impulse on this who knows so some strength in the uh, new zealand dollar might be uh on the cards this week if this cyclicity continues so keep your eye on kiwi dollar and kiwi pairs in general to see if we get that strength and obviously trade it against a weaker currency <clears throat> now something that happened overnight was um gold and silver had a, a bit of a crash actually as you can see but uh gold came into a lovely area of weekly support as you can see, around about this uh, 1675 level, just uh, came all the way down there, and then buyers came in. And the same thing happened with silver, actually. Silver came down to just above 22, which is uh, the next kind of uh, big number. I was actually looking for 24, a little bounce of 24, and then and then uh, potentially buyers come in. But overnight, during the Asian session, came down to 22 and now we're back into 23.84 so interesting to see what's going to happen now are we going to close below these uh like for instance on silver are we going to close below 24 or is this going to be a false break and we're going to see some upside now so and gold <coughs> you know are we going to close above this support level here around about 617.64 or what's going to happen um so really not too sure what happened with gold and silver but literally dropped and then buyers came in pretty much straight away at those big big levels so be interesting to see what happens with those as well other than that uh not much happening on the start of the uh week um pound aussie that i mean that's been a very very bullish trend that is uh looking like it's making some upside moves at the moment put some moving averages on there for a second for you so i just want to show you what i'm seeing you know we've got the moving averages price is coming to the eight moving average there look we saw bullish close on friday and we've broken friday's high so these are what's called pivot points by the way guys that just think that uh, i have on my charts this is the monthly pivot so if price was to come down to the monthly pivot for whatever reason um, probably likely to see buyers come in but uh, if we break below there and close below there it might be that we're gonna head towards this what's called s1 support level we'll see that's a very very bullish trend at the moment you know this is a buyers market only so look for buying opportunities <coughs> h1 um, 
we pulled into the EMAs. You can see we started to move away again. Um, where is, uh, let me just see where that daily, um, where that monthly pivot is. It's around 1.872. Just wondered if it was around about where this uh, 200 EMA was. One point, uh, no, it's way down here actually. So, <clears throat> so who knows? Um, it looks fairly bullish to me though. It's off to a very, very good start to the week. You can see that uh, the cycles there um, made a new high. Little bit of divergence there between the high and this one, high, high, high high lower height so we'll have to keep an eye on that as well but uh, you know looking very very strong pound is one of the strongest currencies um, today at the moment um, so very early days though guys very very early days don't need to rush to get into any trades okay um, Mondays generally you know good rule of thumb is not to get into anything straight away but at least wait for that uh, American uh, the American side, the American session to come in and before you start trading. And then you got full liquidity in the market. Um, failing that, you know, you can always look to uh, trade on Tuesday, Wednesday. Literally, you're just looking to uh, take a couple of good trades a week, um, in my opinion. Um, and uh, yeah, if you can do that and potentially make yourself 2 3% a week, then brilliant. So just looking for the best opportunities in the market. So no rush at all no rush at all we will see what happens today so have a great day guys and i'll speak to you soon bye